All right, welcome back, eighth grade. This is Mr. Caro. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go over recess procedures. So once again, I wanna, wanna welcome back all of our eighth grade class. Um, we're gonna have a wonderful year. We're gonna make the most of the situation that we're in. And yeah, we're gonna go through the recess process. All right, so as you all know, guys, safety is our top priority. That's gonna be the, the number one thing that we're gonna look at um, with everything that we do in regards to recess. So why do we have recess, right? Well, we know that it can be hard to stay in the same room the entire day, right? It's tough to be seated in front of that computer uh, for a good chunk of the day. And although safety is our top priority, we just want to give you all an opportunity to be, you know, just be all selves, just to be kids for, for 30 minutes a day. So that's kind of our rationale behind, you know, why we're, we're still having recess. All right, so here's the schedule here. Recess is going to be right here during AR intervention, right? So it's gonna be from 2.40 to 3.15, and we're gonna have recess the entire week this week. But just know everybody that once we get AR zone going, it's we're just gonna have recess a few times a week, and a few times a week, couple days out of the week, maybe more, we're gonna be in AR zone uh, reading. All right, so this is where we'll go for recess. And this is the recess map here. Um, the big square represents the field, the big day field. And as you can see here, we've divided it up. We've got the parking lot right here up front and the entire side over here is the academy side. But then this quadrant right here has been divided into four between your four homeroom teachers. You've got Mr. Mendoza, Ms. Saythree, Ms. Berryman, Mr. Mannion. And the reason why we have everybody in their own quadrant is so that just like we were in our classrooms, we don't want to cross contaminate or mix with other classes in case one of us were to get sick. So that being said, this is where each of us will go. The field will be marked off uh, with spray paint or some other marker uh, or indicator to, uh, to let everybody know which quadrant they should be in, right? So it should be marked off by four like that uh, come Monday. So some safety during recess. Um, the number one thing, regardless of what we talk about here, is you have to listen to your teacher's directions at all times. Uh, and you should be in your teacher's view at all times within that quadrant that your class is assigned to. Now, that being said, I do want us to recognize that re recess is a privilege. It is not a right. We don't have to do this. So, you know, if we're popping off and we're not listening to our teachers or we're, you know, going too wild. We can take this away. We don't want to do that. It'll break our hearts to do that. But again, you have to follow teacher directions at all times, regardless of anything else that's said here. Your teacher's word is gold, and it's what should be followed every single day, every time we're out at recess. So with that, you should stay in your quadrant at all times. And, and this third bullet point is very important. Restroom use will not be permitted during recess time unless it's an extreme emergency. And I want to talk about this for a little bit to give you all some reasons why we're doing this. Uh, it's the same reason why, you know, you're in the same classroom all day. It's the same reason why you're in your individual quadrant uh, in the field for recess. It's because we can't have cross-contamination. We can't have classes mixing with other classes. So again, with that in mind, we can't have a student walking from the field, through the parking lot, through the PE pavilion, inside the atrium, all the way through the hallways into the restroom. You can see how that would cause some problems. So again, we're asking that restroom use uh, will not be permitted, it will not be allowed unless it's an extreme emergency. And if it is, please tell your teacher and they'll reach out to me or someone to come escort you inside. All right, uh, next bullet point here, masks are required during the entirety of recess, um, just like we have them in the class. And again, safety is paramount. It's at, it's at the top of our mind with this. Uh, and then lastly, right, social distancing, right? Six feet of distance is gonna be required during the entirety of recess. So the same distance that we're trying to keep from each other inside the building when we get here in the morning um, during class, it's, it's the same distance that we're going to have from each other uh, while we're doing recess. Um, and again, I just want to end with this. Recess is definitely a privilege. It is not a right. You have to listen to what your teachers tell you when you're out there. If you don't, it will be taken away and we don't want to do that. So please, again, listen to what your teachers tell you. Six feet of social distancing, wear your masks, we can't let y'all go to the restrooms and stay inside your box. We should be good. All right. So before and after recess. So here's what it's going to look like before we head out there and then after we come back in. So your teacher's going to line you up uh, from the classroom and, and walk you out to the 
a pavilion that should actually say field, right? So we're going to walk you out to the field. Um, you will sit at least six feet from your classmates. Uh, teachers will release you. Teachers will ask you to return a line up and you have 60 seconds to do so again, right? Your teacher's word is law out there. They tell you have to line up within 60 seconds. We should be doing that within 55. So lastly, what we'll be doing on Monday is we're, we're going to practice the procedure until it's done right. So what we'll be doing today, which is probably Monday, you will be practicing our procedure and going out to recess and coming back in. Uh, the more practice we get in with this, if we were to ace it today, then it means uh, more time at recess. Uh, the more time we have to practice this, of course, it's less time at recess. All right, and during recess. All right, so again, like we said, the field will be divided into four quadrants. Uh, you can read, you can listen to music, you can be on your phone, you can play with some of the equipment provided. I know that we may have some, some soccer balls and footballs and things like that out there. Again, only in your quadrant. You have to stay in your quadrant. You can't be playing with other kids um, in the other quadrants, in the other classes. Um, you can also just talk to your friends, right? But you do have to remain socially distanced. Again, that is six feet of distance. All right. So returning to class, um, you should bring your water bottles daily, again, because we can't let you go into the restroom or go into the building during recess to drink water or use the restroom. We are asking you to bring your water bottles so you can have that with you daily. Um, because again, right, we can't safely give everyone an opportunity to get water as we come back in. We're going to have to hustle up right back into class. Uh, clean your hands with hand sanitizer, right? As we walk in through um, the building, we're going to use the hand sanitizer pumps that are there every time we come in. Uh, and lastly, like, like I've been saying here, um, your teacher's word is the law. You have to follow what they say and, and what they say uh, do. So again, you know, Bring your water bottle. We'll be using that hand sanitizer. If you have your own, that's fine too. And listen to what your teachers say. Their word is solid gold. All right, so here's what Monday's going to look like. Here's what today's going to look like. Um, teachers are going to show you the presentation, this one that we're going over at 2.40. At 2.55, teachers will begin to line students up for the field. At 3 p.m., all students will be seated on the field. And then at 3.07, we'll go ahead and begin returning back to class. And then at 3.15, we're going to begin dismissal. Now, I know it may seem, uh, you know, counterintuitive. Why are we going back to class? We're just going to get released eight minutes later. Again, it's all about safety and making sure that we're in a very controlled, regulated area, right? Either the quadrant in the field or directly in our classroom and, and nothing in between. All right. So again, like I said, we're only going to practice the transition on Monday. Um, just so that way when we do recess uh, for the remainder of the week, we'll actually enjoy more of our time. We won't have to, you know, practice these transitions over and over and over every time if we get it right today. All right. Thank you all, everybody. And here's to hoping it goes great.